Consistency is such an important part of life. It makes it so much more likely that you'll succeed. Yet, so many of us find it so hard to stick at it. So in this video, what I wanna do is share with you my top five reasons why you find it so hard to stay consistent. Let's do this. And the first reason why you find it so hard to be consistent is because it's hard work. When you start anything, it's always going to be really tough because you don't know exactly what you're doing, you're not practiced, you just feel disempowered and not in the right mindset to go out and do it. Yet, the more you stick at it, the easier it will get because the first time you do anything, it's always really tough. And in fact, the first time you try anything, your brain doesn't know the right way to do it. The more you do it, the more the brain actually creates pathways in order to make it easier for you to do it next time. All it's trying to get you to do is to figure out the right way to do it. And the more you do it, the easier it gets. And the second reason is because you'd rather be doing anything else except that important task. As I've just discussed, you want the easiest life possible. And your brain gets used to that. It thinks, well, I'd rather be doing anything else except working. So instead, I'll kick back, relax, watch a TV show, play a video game, or just meet up with friends and do something which won't help me to succeed. I'm not saying you don't need to take a rest, far from it. Make sure you get the most important stuff done first so that you can actually enjoy resting. And something that will make it easier for you to be consistent and stick at it is seeing that important task as something which isn't just hard work, but it's also rewarding and fun doing so. Because remember, the more you stick at it, the easier it will get. And eventually what happens is, is that you'll actually enjoy doing that task and succeeding rather than that short-term gain of just watching TV. It's all about changing your perception of hard work as something which is rewarding rather than something to run away from. And reason three is because you feel you don't have the time. And I say feel on purpose because really if something is that important, you'll find the time. It's all about prioritizing what's important in your life so that you find that task, that goal, or whatever it is you want to succeed at as being the most important thing you need to do. So let me ask you, if something was really, really important, say, for example, someone said to you, if you do that important task, I'll give you a billion pounds or a billion dollars, would you do it? Well, the chances are, of course you would, because you think to yourself, well, I'll do that thing, prioritize everything else over it, so I get that monetary reward. So you need to start prioritizing the things you know you should do in order to grow and develop and succeed over those things which might give you short-term gain, but don't actually give you the long-term reward that you're looking for. And the reason for it is that you need to start prioritizing those important tasks. As I've said, if something was gonna reward you monetary with all that money, you would make sure you did it. So you need to remember to make the things that you find the most rewarding a priority in your life. Because if you don't, other things will take over and you'll end up not doing that thing ever. You'll just keep on running over that short-term fun over that long-term reward, which is a little bit more taxing, but will give you safety, security, and enjoyment throughout your life. And the last reason is importance. And the number one reason really why we don't stick at anything is because we don't find it important enough. Because if something was that important, you'd make sure you stick at it. You need to start thinking about your goals, what you're looking for in the future. Because if that thing isn't that important, then maybe that's why you're not being consistent and sticking at it. Because if it was that important, you'd find the time, you'd find the energy, you'd work out a way to make it the most important and central part of your life. So you need to start thinking, well, if it's not, maybe my goals are slightly different. Maybe I need to look at something else to achieve. As in every cell in our body changes every seven years, but behaviorally, on average, about five. So if you think about it like that, maybe something you've been working towards over the last 10 years, you wanted 10 years ago. That doesn't mean you want it right now. Start thinking about what's important to you now and change your priorities as a result. It doesn't mean that all that hard work you put in goes to waste. It's just put you on the right path to succeed at what you want. Okay, so to summarize this video, what I want to show you is that consistency is something that's really hard, but something that is manageable and something which you can grow and develop and lean into. You can start using consistency as something that's a great tool in your life. But in order to make sure that you stay consistent, you need to work out your motives behind not being consistent. So remember to look at those five reasons that I gave you above 
and work out which ones do you connect to. Maybe leave me a comment, share with me what you're finding hard, and I can make a future video answering your question. Also, remember to like this video and subscribe to see plenty more videos to come. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.